Hello again, everyone. This is uh, part two of our uh, two-part mini-series on how to use dictionaries with Dynamo to streamline your scripts, make editing and managing your data a little easier throughout your Dynamo scripts. So if you haven't watched part one already um, and you're not really familiar with using dictionaries in Dynamo, I would definitely recommend watching part one. Um, that'll give you a little bit of an intro to how to set this up, what dictionaries are, why they're good and useful. Part two is just more of a demonstration. So we're going to take the script we used in part one and modify it a little bit um, and just kind of really go over why dictionaries make things easier um, for these types of scripts. So um, again, this is downloadable if you want to follow along. Um, there will be a initial script and then an ending script so that you can see how things change to compare and compar contrast what it looks like at the beginning and what it looks like at the end if you didn't want to follow along by building nodes with me. Um, but anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just get into this and uh, really modify the script so we can understand these dictionaries. So for the next part of this demo, what we're going to do is get all of these other sliders that weren't working before, such as the tower floor height and the tower length and tower width, same with the podium stuff, working. So what I've done is I've pulled them out into this other code block here. You'll notice that stories is not yet filled in because that's just the dictionary object later on. And hopefully what you'll see from this is how easy it is to work with these dictionaries because it allows things in the script to be super modular. It allows us to encapsulate our logic into these chunks of or groups of nodes that don't really interact with other groups. They just interact with the dictionaries and we can just kind of plug and play from there. I've also moved over this building geometry uh, group of node over to the right um, to allow us space to work. But essentially what we're doing is we're going to plug in all of this tower height width length stuff in between the logic that sets each floor as either a podium or a tower and the logic that uses whether it's a podium or a tower to build out the geometry. So what we'll do here is we're just going to connect our dictionary in and you can see that because all this is just input stuff our dictionary here is the only input that comes from the script that there's really not a whole lot of spaghetti here. We have all of the information we need already set. Next thing we're going to want to do is take this set and value at keys and we're going to want a list of all of the keys that we want to set. So we want to set height. We want to set length. Oops. We want to set, set width. And we'll need eight, one of these. So I'll just control C and control V this for each of these. So we'll set key, set Oops, set key. key. And we're going to move this down. The other thing we're going to want to get is the program. Because this is going to define which height and which length and which width this gets. So when we get here, value at key, we're going to plug in our dictionary, we're going to our key. And if I get a watch node, you'll see we have podium or tower. So if I get our equals here, set this to podium. We're going to want to figure out which is podium and which is tower. And if we have a watch node here, oh, okay. So we're going to want to set this to longest. So we have the first five being podium, the next are tower. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get a bunch of if statements. If, sorry, that guy. 
and our test is going to be this test. And we're going to want this twice. Let's plug in our dictionary also. Okay, so we're gonna want or we're gonna want this three times. One for each of these. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and paste it again. And what we're gonna want to do here. Oh, okay. Is we're gonna want to set the podium floor height and the tower floor height to our first if, and our podium length, and our tower length to our next if, and then our width, and our width to the third. And you can see that this width goes with this width, this length goes with this length, and this height goes with this height. I also want to set these lacing to, oh, we also want to stage these actually. So we want our dictionary to go to that dictionary, and our dictionary to go to that dictionary. And we're going to want to set these, these things to the longest as well. And what this should do, if I got a watch node here, is set our length and our width and our height. So our height for the podium is 20. Um, so I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. You can see that the height of the podium is 20. Let's change this length to 70. And then the tower is 12, 50, 75. So if I go back to our node here, this should be 20, 70, 70. And then down in the tower, I mean 12, and then 50 and 75. So you can see how that works. Super simple. And all we have to do then is encapsulate this code into a group. I'm going to call this set height with length. And plug this in. And you can see that all of a sudden our tower changed. Um, you can see the base is a little more square. I can go ahead and change the length and the width. So let's do this. Yeah, that works. Yep. So that actually works now. One thing that you'll notice actually doesn't work. So if I change the height of this, they actually don't line up. So why is that? Let's go back to 20. Well, if you'll notice, we actually set our elevations pretty early on. And this is done before the height, width, and length change. So on top of adding logic really easily, you'll also find out that if I take these two, because this is the one that creates elevations, this is sorting the list by elevations, we can also change the order of our logic relatively easily. All I have to do is move these groups over, put my dictionary object here. Now they're just all built on top of each other because they have elevations of zero. And I can move this code over here, these nodes. And because all I need to input is my stories, or are my stories, to plug in my stories there, plug in my stories here, and all of a sudden this tower will react to my height. So if I change my podium floor height to say five, it gets shorter, or three. If I want this to be 20 again, it gets taller. Same thing with the towers. Now, there might be some funkiness with this code. Um, the logic is relatively uh, simple. Um, you know, suppose maybe we have an error where because initially the tower and podium were set based on elevation, and right now maybe the list isn't sorted by elevation for some reason um, in some conditions. Um, so we might need some additional logic in here to kind of fix that with the setting of elevations or setting of podium and tower. Um, but that'll all come down to script and errors and I don't, I don't foresee that being an error currently. 
Um, but yeah, from hopefully from this demo, you saw how easy it is to just shift things around or add logic to these scripts based on these dictionaries because all the logic is just encapsulated within each of these dictionary objects and they're carried through the script rather than having to manage five or six or seven or 20 different lists across the lifetime of the script. Um, and you know, that can especially get funky if you sort things by height or sort things based on uh, alphabet or something like that. Now it carries all of the relevant information with it if, it, if you sort it. Thanks for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed um, our little mini series on how to use dictionaries to make your life in Dynamo a little easier make your scripts a little more manageable and straightforward, and um, really kind of manage how data is used throughout the script. Um, if you, uh, if you uh, haven't downloaded it already, uh, feel free to go through and click the download link to really get into the script and see how things were managed. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the future, this will be very helpful to your scripts and just kind of managing the complexity as things go along. Um, once again, thanks for watching, and uh, definitely follow for more videos to come.